What I've got here is the Baintech 110 amp hour slimline lithium battery. I'm going to be doing a quick review, a um, bit of field testing that I did up in Cairns on a recent three week trip and just let you guys know what I think about the battery, um, what about its build and some important things you should consider um, if you're thinking about getting one. So as I already mentioned, this is a 110 amp hour lithium battery. So with your lithium batteries, you can actually discharge them further than you can with your traditional uh, lead acid battery. So if you have a 110 amp hour lead acid battery, this is gonna get you more usable amp hours. So you're gonna get a lot more use out of this than you are out of yeah, your lead acid deep cycle battery. So they recommend that you should discharge this to around 80%, um, but if you don't discharge it as much, you can get more life and more cycles out of this battery. Whereas if you discharge it down to 0%, um, you're not gonna get anywhere near as much life out of this battery. This battery has a 20 amp DC to DC charger built into it. So despite having the charger built into it, it's actually the exact same size as the 110 amp hour battery that doesn't have the DC to DC charger built into it. So you might be wondering what's the advantage of that. For well, one, you've got portability. So as you can see, I've disconnected this battery um, for this review. It's not plugged in or anything. Whereas if it was, um, if you didn't have the DC-DC charger, you'd still need to unplug just something else you need to unplug. And if you want to take it into the campsite, or you want to take it into your tent if you can't park your four-wheel drive near your campsite, um, this is a big advantage. The other thing is ease of wiring. So for me, when I got this battery, um, literally just put it in the back, one positive cable to the side of battery with an inline fuse and then earthed it to the body and that was the whole installation done so it probably took 35 to 40 minutes and that's literally it so on the construction of this battery this is a hammered aluminium finish um, it's not waterproof it's ip20 rated so essentially um, it shouldn't be wet is basic but i mean you're not really going to be getting any battery wet so it doesn't really make that much of a difference you can see that it is slim so it's 635 mils long and you're just looking at 50 mils wide. So the reason that I chose this battery for my car is obviously having a Suzuki Jimny, it's pretty small, don't have a lot of space. So I needed something that can just slot in anywhere essentially um, and I don't lose a heap of space. So essentially everything that you need to get going is already built into the battery, which is one of the reasons that I did choose this. Uh, it's got your BMS in there already, obviously all the cells are inside here. DC to DC chargers built in. The only things that it doesn't have is any fuses inside. And that is, while that was annoying um, originally, it is actually an advantage because, because it's a sealed aluminum case. If there were fuses inside um, and you blew a fuse out in a trip, it'd be a nightmare to change it. Whereas with this, you just have an inline fuse um, coming out of the blue Anderson is for charging. And then you've just got your gray Anderson um, when you're discharging for your lights, fridge, etc. So you just need one of your Anderson piggybacks to split it into two or to split it into cigars or whatever you want to use. But yeah, like I said, everything's pretty much built into the battery. You don't really need anything else to get going. Um, if, you're, if you're running solar, you do need a regulator. You need to bring your own regulator. This doesn't have a built-in regulator, which is a little bit annoying. Um, and it also doesn't have any voltage monitoring built in. It doesn't have it doesn't tell you the voltage, it doesn't have a state of charge, and there's no Bluetooth or anything like that. So it's pretty annoying. I am looking at getting one of the Victron battery monitors, um, and my solar panels already had a regulator on them anyway, so that's fine. This battery is built and designed in Australia. It's built in Brisbane, um, just near the Port of Brisbane, which is also where their showroom is. So for those who are still considering getting a battery, either in a Jimny or any four-wheel drive, um, I guess one of the questions is why lithium? It's, it, it seems to be a lot more expensive originally. Um, this battery is around 1800 um, when you go buy one. But the thing is, they last a lot longer than your lead acid batteries. So a lead acid battery, um, while it might be cheaper, you'll be replacing it sooner. Um, whereas a lithium battery, like I already mentioned, they have a lot more life cycles. So if you work out the cost per life cycle, um, a lithium battery does actually work out to be cheaper. Not to mention the fact that you're getting pretty much double the space. So I used to have a 98 amp hour um, AGM battery. So now that I've got this, it's pretty much double the usable amp hours for me. Um, it only weighs 11 kilos, whereas my AGM battery, I think is around 27 kilos. So yeah, there's definitely different advantages. If you have the spare money, um, you're kind of future-proofing future yourself by going for 
um, a lithium battery. Probably goes without saying, but this battery um, isn't suitable for mounting under the bonnet. One, because I don't know where on earth you would fit it under the bonnet, but secondly, um, probably most importantly, because the battery itself, when it's charging, is only supposed to be charging between zero degrees Celsius and 45 degrees Celsius. Um, and its operating range is between minus 20 degrees and 60 degrees Celsius. So obviously your engine bay is gonna be a lot hotter than that. So this is a battery that shouldn't be going under the bonnet, um, should definitely be going somewhere behind the seats or where I've got it in the back of the chimney. I took it up to Cairns for two and a half weeks um, and didn't actually have to plug in the solar panels once. I was running the fridge every day, um, camp lights, 150 watt inverter, um, just a little one for the drone batteries charging everything at night, obviously phones, running a little 12 volt shower, had no issues with any of those things. So like I said, I pretty much just got positive things to say about this battery. Um, missing, you know, not having a, any way to monitor the voltage is a little bit annoying. Uh, not having the built-in solar regulator, but it is in the nature of the battery's design. I guess that's why it's only 50 mils thick. Um, so what I did do is I reached out to Bain Tech on Instagram uh, and they actually agreed to organize a discount code for anyone that follows me that's interested in getting one of these batteries or any of the products on their website. So the discount is 10% and like I said, any of the products on their website, whether it's Victron or any other brands that they're selling on there, when you go through to your checkout, you just put in the code JIMNY, so J-I-M-N-Y, and yeah, you'll get 10% off. So it's not, uh, there's no kickback to me. Um, I don't get anything out of it. It's just a 10% discount for you guys because there's not too many discounts to go around for their company. Awesome, so thanks for watching this review. Um, Hopefully it'll be the first of many to come on the channel. Um, so what I'm gonna aim to do is get in every time I buy a product pretty much, give it a bit of a field test and if it's any good, um, do a bit of review or if, I guess if it's bad, do a review as well. But yeah, I can actually recommend this product. Um, it exceeded my expectations.